Hi, this video is to uh, to Kurt, to MK Kurt, and um, it's about free energy. Um, and my feelings about it. <clears throat> a main question is, you know, free from what? Free from what? Okay, because I'm like, there's no such thing as free energy. And part of the reason is because I'm against uh, this idea of, you know, perpetual motion. I'm against perpetual motion. So, um, you know, it's kind of a general feeling. Um, some of the people that support Kurt are kind of like, you know, maybe I'm just uptight. Right? Maybe I'm just uptight. could be why there's a problem. I'm just uptight. I need to breathe into my balls and roll around on the floor more. No. That's not why. You know, I could be uptight, but that's still not the, the issue. The issue is that the, the idea is too challenging fearsomely challenging okay now what we're basically talking about is this thing about uh, food and energy all right you need to eat food that's where your energy comes from it's a beautiful reality and I mean the the fact that the energy for you to walk around your house and then feed your cat comes from the bread and cheese you eat, that's a lovely uh, scientific discovery that has spiritual impl implications, right? So don't give that up. And then energy in general, you don't want free energy, energy from nowhere, infinite energy. Energy is transactional. To get energy, you have to give energy, and so on and so forth, and that's a good thing. That's what keeps us interacting with the world around us. Any spiritual notion that says, oh, you don't need food, oh, energy could be for free, is disconnecting us from the physical world. We want to spend energy. And when we spend energy, we want to get energy from the world. That's the transactional nature of the world as energy. Right. Now, one thing I was noticing is hunger is to hungry as spirit is to spirituality. Right. Hunger is a feeling. My, my hook on spirituality is that we have spiritual feelings. And, you know, what is the spirit or what is spirituality? It comes from some sort of a statistical information processing of our spiritual feelings and you know it's some psychological thing just like hunger is but it could be related to a material thing just like being hungry is related to needing food because you need energy so what am I saying overall well this to me is a spiritual victory the world is made of energy right we have entropy, we have F equals MA, we have all these famous guys. And there's a bunch of connections. And the main connection we're missing is probably between the left and right hemisphere of the brain. And it doesn't need to be versus. It's supposed to be combined. It's supposed to be left with right. There's a connection there. It's a limited connection so that we can counterbalance, so we can know that there's at least two sides to every uh, 
question and every answer right so free energy we could talk about that more but if you're going to back off and go i'm just talking about there's new kinds of energy that we haven't exploited yeah i know like i like to talk about them for example you know there's thorium that's a good one you know there's there's uh hydrogen from solar I mean, but you're backing off and acting like like it's something like that. And really, it's like I can build a toy that'll make energy. I know I can because I thought it up. Why can't you say, hey, I came up with a really good experiment. Do the experiment and then just see. Sometimes it turns out wonderful. Sometimes it doesn't work out and you need to go back to the drawing board. Either way, you know, why, why pretend, oh, you already know? Because, because it's free. It's this question of freeness, how simple it is to get, right? How simple it is to get. And we need free things, why? Because we're slaves. We're house slaves. So we want free shit. And it's sad and understandable, but, you know, it's something we also, we have to deal with. <laughs>